really important. We are going to do it as you understand, as you have already heard, and we are trying to do it. The tourism policy has been formed to further bigger to push this force. By and large, we, but by and large, the entire country is a tourism sport for us. So we have to improve the law and order situation overall. But I must say that whatever we say, whatever people talk about law and order situation in Bangladesh, I have seen many places of the world which are known to be good tourism sports. Law and order situation there are also not that good compared to us. That's my personal experience. So what we say that we see and we people think that is so. But in fact it is not that bad as yet, I think. And we're improving, of course we're improving. So these are the facilities we are trying to do and we are trying to do all the connectivities, whatever roads and we have made a plan along with our ministry, we are going to take two or three projects. One is we along with the Department of Local Government. I mean the Minister of Local Government. Combined we are making all the sports we have already marked for tourism. What are the facilities needed there? So there will be plenty. We are going to make another project along with the Department of Culture so that all the archaeological and historical sites will be properly maintained and will we'll, both of us will make a program to develop all those. Then we are going to make another project with the Department of Department of uh, Environment. Uh, and the Department of Environment so that we can develop the environmental island of our uh, forests and other, other facilities along with them. And last of all, we are going to make another project along with the Minister of Foreign Affairs like just like that. And to do that, we'd like to make all sorts of management in a foreign country in our in our embassies to promote our country there as our friend and brother in the National Ambassador and just say so we are planning all these things. Already we have made a pro program for, already a project has been prepared uh, for section of the money for along with the Department of Local Government to have the infrastructure facilities for the different sports throughout the country. Those summer bridges, summer some toilet facilities, some canteen facilities, all these things have been made. So the, these informations are also we, have, we are trying to make in the DC's office some information center and helping center uh, in, in the in the deputy commission's office we are going to make we already there is a government order for them to make a cell a tourism cell so that they can look after the tourists of when they reach there as uh, Mr. Akbar has just said that uh, they are going to make informations there yes if informations we would like to have the information to the sale also from government side if there is any other way of getting the information better then it's always always it will be you know helpful for us so by providing the information this is whatever way we can give the more information that is helpful for us and the, Another thing this double line has started, which is really my big subject, that is a community. It, all the time I thought and I spoke in different places that Bangladesh has got a very unique thing, it's people. It's people, it's life. That is a very unique product for the tourism uh, throughout the world that can attract attention. And that can be done without any much of investment, much of anything. Our whole community can be used in it and they can just take their foreigners to their own village, state for some time. And it, it is a big, biggest I mean, uh, product of our country. I think. The people of Bangladesh, it says excellent. People of Bangladesh have got some very big specialists. They are very hospitable. They smile under any circumstances. They are, they are so helpful. They are like the, our foreign friend, foreigner friend has just said that he, he felt so safe and felt so you know, comfortable. Compared to a five southern Dhaka, he felt better. And, and it is true. If you go yourself, stay in a village house, you feel much more comfortable and much more safe with the community. They will give you protection. They will give you food. They will give you hygienic things, anything you want. They are giving. So why not we promote this? This is, I think this is the biggest product we have. And for branding Bangladesh, I always thought that people of Bangladesh should be featured as a branding or branding. That is the speciality of Bangladesh. The Bangladesh people are so resilient, so hardworking so friendly, so hospitable, whatever way you say, you make in the world. So this community, uh, uh, community uh, uh, tourism, and as he said, is also ecotourism, of course, because they are not disturbing any good. And this is sustainable, as uh, Professor Pompin has said, yes.
it is sustainable and it is also what they call it uh, responsible tourism because if you can involve the entire village in it the community will be in it and it will make community will get take care of the other things what is necessary so again i must thank uh, the uh, BIID and and all the organizers and everybody involved in it i wish them a big success and as they wanted the support from our chairman i would like uh, i would like to request uh, mr chairman to look into their request to allow some sort of line they wanted i think short line or what i don't understand this short <laughs> line what i request you to look into it uh, thank you ladies and gentlemen